welcome back and let's react to the SM Town hope video that they did as part of their culture humanity live I did not watch said concert thingy although I did kind of follow along on Twitter just to see that okay yes Wendy is back looking good I'm not a full-on rev love, but it's hard not to be aware of them and want the best for them because they do still produce quite a lot of good songs. I've just never really felt the connection to the group itself, but I do really like their music, which to me is the difference between like when I call myself part of the fan base versus when I'm just like, okay, yeah, I like the music. Not everybody has that kind of thing, but you know, whatever. We're gonna move on to the music. Well, there, I recognize my first group there. <laughs> Really, that's what they're taking from? Okay. Your voice doesn't go over the smoothie, you don't have a good voice at all. She blends well. The rapping sections here, the people, while they're rapping at very similar cadences, it doesn't blend like the voices singing do. So it's kind of distracting to me. This is also the most emotion that I've seen Ispa have ever get. And yes, I've watched their little Christmas special things. They're very... Pretty girls. Talented. No personality. So maybe that'll develop. Okay. 
여러분 새해 복 많이 받으시고 몸도 마음도 건강한 2021년 보내세요 네 축하와 축복과 기쁨이 넘치는 2021년이 되시길 간절히 바랄게요 우리 애리들 아프지 말아요 2021년 여러분이 소망하는 모든 것들이 이루어지길 저도 함께 기도하겠습니다 <웃음> 2021년에는 여러분의 매일매일이 기쁨으로 넘쳐나길 바라겠습니다 새해 복 많이 받으세요 사랑하는 모든 분들이 건강하고 늘 즐거웠으면 좋겠습니다. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 사랑, 성공, 건강 모두 다 여러분이 가지세요. 2021년에는 다 받으셔도 됩니다. 우리 엘프도 복 많이 많이 받아요. 네, 계획한 모든 것들을 이루는 yeah. 충만한 okay. 한 해가 되시길 바랍니다. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. I would definitely enter TVSQ back in the morning days. 많이 받으세요. 네, 2021년은 그 어느 때보다 빛나고 활기찬 해가 되시길 바라겠습니다. 시즈니가 있어 NCT가 행복했던 것처럼 NCT로 인해 시즈니와 모든 분들이 행복하시길 간절히 바라겠습니다. No wonder I didn't recognize most of those guys. 안녕하세요. 2021년 새해에는 좋은 소식만 가득하시길 바라겠습니다. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. The song is boring, but it was a pleasure to be able to kind of see everybody who <clears throat> was there because there are so many good artists under SM. Again, I didn't recognize a lot of them off the bat because even though I like a lot of their music, I don't... It takes a little something extra for me to go and research like, okay, names of people and let me watch one of those, you know, who's in this group, show me all about them kind of things. Yeah, I... So the song was meh. It, it really, really was. Hope is such a, it's such an insipid word in a year like this. It doesn't have a lot of meaning. We want things to be better. We hope they will be. And yes, it's a good idea to hold on to that hope and try to have, to try to make things better. But I don't know, I'm over here wearing a shirt that says Liberation Now. I am, I'm not the kind of person who's all about hope. I'm about fighting for better. So that didn't really encourage me. Now for people who are in Korea, I'm not going to make the assumption that their cultural identity doesn't connect better with that message because Maybe it is like that. Or maybe it's like when Gal Gadot put out her Imagine video right after the pandemic started and people were like, really? Really? So I, I just don't know. What I do know is that the whole format of it reminded me a lot of something from my Morning Mizume days because I was a full-on Morning Mizume stan 
back from like the fifth gen to the tenth gen and they put out a video called all for one and one for all i'm going to link it down in the description box where it just kind of was this big song and dance number with everybody into the label and it was really interesting because they all kind of had their moment to shine in the order that they entered the agency so that was a lot of fun then but it still reminded me of this now and i had very positive feelings for the fact that i was getting to remember that now as to whether there was any such organization like that with this I don't think so or else I feel like TVXQ and Super Junior would have been like stacked at the front but you know still fun for the fans so <sighs> yeah I'm not gonna bother watching the whole concert I might watch the red velvet clips just because I do really like Wendy particularly after Psycho and knowing what happened to her following that that led her to have to not do things for like a year yeah i am concerned with her well-being and want to see her do well so <laughs> again tvxq i got really into them around the moronic days once everything went down that paired them down to a duo i didn't really kind of follow along with what happened there and then they started popping up on my Pandora playlist with some of their newer stuff. And yeah, they it's still good music. I hate what went down with the whole group because I did go back and read about it. But yeah, so I'm I like some NCT not all of it and then i like taman i don't know that i've ever actually listened to kaya bikyun so if you think i should let me know down in the comments what else is there to say about that i said the fun was not in the actual listening to the song the fun was in just watching the artists that we love because again, that song, kind of tragic. Some of the singing, fine. Good blends. The rapping, really just that tiniest little bit off to my ear that just kind of brought it down in those moments. But, is what it is. So, follow me on Twitter. Do all of this stuff. When you comment, tell me what else you'd like me to react to. In the description box, in addition to the link to that video, it's going to be a link to my Patreon. And I think that's it, right? Okay.